on and on and on and on. It's the Funk Master DJ Jazzy J, and I'm hanging out here in Singapore with my peoples, pushing on. You know what I'm saying? And that's what we're gonna do. Push on and on and on and on. One love, Jazzy J, Zulu Nation. Peace. It's a feeling, it's a state of being. You can't capture it from a, a, um, a situation like MTV, because MTV or VH1, they're not really about hip hop, they're about uh, revenue and money that they can make. The real true form of hip hop is something that, that, that you know started on the streets of the Bronx and electricity that came from, from, from the streets of the Bronx and spread infectiously around the I was surprised back in, 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 in the, uh, you know, the early, mid 80s and in the 90s. Now I know it's like, a, it's something that, it's like, you know, it's something that's probably going to be used to communicate to other planets, you know what I'm saying? So uh, nothing that the, 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 the culture of hip hop does will ever surprise me or shock me. I know it's going to take a 360 turn and come back to original music. So, you know, uh, that's what I'm kind of waiting for. I think the state of hip hop is going to change. Uh, the state of music in general, it's not just hip hop, so I don't want to keep beating up on hip hop. The state of music in general, it's not its not running to a pulse uh, where it's a human pulse. It's like, you know, straight out of the electronic age, everybody's dreaming, you know, people that go, you know, go buy a, a machine, the next thing you know, they're a producer, they're a ranger, this, they're this, and that. That's not what it all takes, you know what I'm saying? You, in order for you to get involved with any art form of music or any art form that people studied for years to be involved with, you should definitely go out and seek and research the foundation of that of that music or that art form and then base it up on that so you can make a contribution and not take away every, all of its essence and milk it. You need to just add something to it as you know, as you're creating, you know what I'm saying? That's what I think a lot of people are doing these days. My advice to them is like don't 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 try to go up against DJs that know their that know their their history and know their music because you won't get blown away, dude. I mean it's one thing to just like sit there and copy somebody's files and everything like that or just go on the net and be clever enough to just be able to download a whole bunch of songs to get you through the night. But if it comes to those critical parties where where you have to play something different than the average ordinary, you know. Some guys are going to be able to, to, to reach the mark. I know a lot of cats that don't have record collections, but no fault of their own. Record collections aren't really, uh, aren't really as available as they were, you know, back when we were doing vinyl. You know, it just doesn't exist like that anymore. So they're only left to just getting stuff off the internet or collecting stuff on a digital format. Um, but uh, more or less, I wouldn't say let that stop you because more or less, if you if it's out there and if you really want it, I mean, I found some hard to find stuff that I know I got the vinyl, but my vinyl might have been messed up, and I had to scratch and dig to find it on the internet or to find a, a, a CD copy or to find a rare recording where I can transfer it on a digitally or whatever the deal is. But it's out there. But you know, if you got a love for it, you do it. You know, we got a love for it. I mean, me, Islam. Bambada, who cool Herc, or uh, you know, we we were cats that you know would go out early in the morning digging for records. You know, what I'm saying before anybody knew, before we even knew what we were doing, we went to get it because we wanted to be the first to play that song. We wanted to break that song. We wanted to go to jam and be the first to rock it before any other DJ get their hands on it before they could even sniff it. We had to play it first. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of times we wouldn't even release it for for who knows how long. Steam the steam the label off. You know what I'm saying? None of that is none of that is sacred no more. The art of digging and the art of uh, you know what I'm saying, the sacred crates as we call it, is kind of like uh, you know, it, it's like a thing of the past. But for us, you know, it's a wave of the future. I, I, you know, I my groups like the you know like the Roots, Black Eyed Peas, um, even Outkast. You know, because Outkast do things from a, from they do things from their own. And that's what I say, you gotta give the music variety. You know, I could put on uh, uh, like 12, you know, these um, auto-tune songs uh, that, are, that are driving me crazy. I could just play them all. And then 
if I really was to close my eyes and, 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 and sometimes I couldn't even tell you who was who. But you know, I admire those groups that are taking in and pushing the envelope to make different and um, and new genres of music, and making something that you know that that just is just not everything. I mean, back in the days when we did our thing, you know, you, you know the difference between a, a, a Furious Five and between a Treacherous Three, or, or a Spoonie G, or a um, or, or, or Cold Crush, or even a Rock Kim, or EPMD, or you know. Tila Rock or, or brand new, you know, you knew the difference because each of those groups had their own unique type of style and unique type of uh, elements that they brought to the table. Nowadays, right now, you know, you get a group that comes out and everybody wants to sound like the next guy, you know what I'm saying, so they can ride that bandwagon. And, um, you know, I think that's that's a lot of what's actually wrong with the whole thing. But, um, you know, I mean, from my standpoint, I get a song that, that I've been playing for like 30 years and I can still play it and get a rise out of the dance floor. But then I got a song that sold, you know, millions of copies and just came out two months ago and I put it on two months later and, you know, to clear the dance floor. Nobody ever wants to hear it. Not only just not that night, but practically never again. You know what I'm saying? So that's the wrong, that's the thing that's wrong with the, you know, the music that doesn't have that longevity. Don't get me wrong, it's not all of the music because like I said, some of those groups I named, you know, they, they, you know, and then some of the stuff that's now, you know, you know, it, it's not like, not all of it's bad, but it's bad when you get one person that come up with a good concept and then everybody jumps on the bandwagon to make money. They, they're they not, they're not doing it for the love of the craft or just try to, you know, try to make something that, that's, that, that they're going to be proud of and then something that's going to last. They're doing it because, of, okay, they shot past the goal of the music. They just shot and it's aimed straight for the, you know, for the bank wall, you know, and that's, that's why a lot of the music is the way it is right now because people ain't doing it for the music they're doing it for you know for the other other reasons <laughs> Singapore Singapore hip hoppers that means you b boys b girls graffiti artists break dancers DJs MCs everybody that blessed the mic blessed a piece of vinyl Bless the linoleum or straight up on the concrete. We want to see y'all out here. You know what I'm saying? Because we pushing on with the pushing on crew. And I'm the original DJ Jazzy J from the mighty, mighty Zulu Nation. Bring you some Zulu funk tonight. Be there, be square. One. Peace and love, it's the Funk Master DJ Jazzy J. Hold on, you know, the video on this, I gotta get in the character, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs>